I'm getting journals for presents. A journal is a really polite way to say nobody wants to hear it. <laughs> say that to a book. <laughs> Turn the page and file it under no one gives a damn. Cause they don't, that's why you got a journal. It's good not to date someone around your birthday because then you gotta judge their gift. Uh-huh. I was dating an artist. You know what an artist means? Synonymous with cheap. Came around for my birthday and you know you're gonna get a coupon, a Kwanzaa ass gift from an artist, man. This boy tries to come at me and he's like, Hey Laura, I named a star after you for your birthday. Now babe, babe, there's thousands of stars all across this universe, but only one with your name on it. Happy birthday, boo. We should have broke up right then and there. But I waited for his birthday. Yeah! Yes, ma'am! I'm like, baby! Bring it in. I named an asshole. Universe, but only one with your name on it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Boo. <laughs> Messed up. You don't even want to be a dude trying to get in these bloomers. I got some issues. <laughs> I am that broad that'll look at your phone. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Why? I'm Scorpio. I am a possessive, conniving, manipulative. But I know I'm not the only Zodiac sign up in here that's chucked her lover's cell phone in the middle of the night, <laughs> hoping the light doesn't illuminate her face, <laughs> being like, who is Chrissy? Huh? What area code is 706? Have you ever Googled an area code, sir? You're not a Scorpio. <laughs> Not a <laughs> yeah, I go past looking at my lover's cell phone. I'll look at his horoscope. <laughs> Just see what kind of day he's going to have. I'll be like, what's this? An Aquarius supports you. Who the hell? <laughs> shit out before it happens. <laughs> Man. You guys are party people. I like that. Like, you know, you're recovering, but they can't take the party out of you. You feel that? You're some party people. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. And you still go to parties. Like, this is a party. Yeah. I went to a party last night. Should've watched out, because my friend Austin invited me. As your chick, you got guy friends, they invite you to a party, you need to be dubious, all right? SAT word, watch out for sketchy shit, all right? Yeah, every time Austin calls me, he has this large animal party house, and he's just like, hey, Lord, you should come over, we're having a party. And each time, I'm like, oh, a party? Who else there? Oh, it's just me and my roommates right now. It's 10.30 at night. Just you and your roommates? Is this a party or a gangbang? Hey. I need to know the girl to boy ratio before I come to this piece. Cause I'm every woman, but not for every man. Yes. Oh, and then I went to an apartment party. You been to one of these things? Hey, Laura, you should come over. It's an apartment party. It's just in 2C. Just go up the stairs. Yeah, go in. It's just five fools sitting on a couch. Five people that didn't want to go out and pay a cover. This isn't a party. This is a black hole of boring. Refuse to be 
sucked into this shit. I was at this party, I was getting my dance on. You know what I'm saying? When you get your dance on, you get in your dance space. Yeah, because you're doing it for you. Or so you think. Am I right, sister? Because as a girl, if you think you're getting your dance on alone, you start feeling this gravitational pull to your ass. You check left, you check right, there's a brother dancing with each butt cheek. If I can't see you, you're not dancing. This has got to be consensual or else it's dance rape. It's what it is. 